I was cleaning my workshop and I came across these two hideous things. Things that I only keep them to show people during knife classes how not to sharpen your knives. Meet the pull through sharpener and the honing rod, also known as knife steel. Once a knife edge is rolled or bent, honing rod does not sharpen. Honing rod is realigning the edge. So what's happening is once the steel is bent once, you're realigning back again. And at that stage, the steel has no integrity left. It's going to roll one more time. You're going to put it back, but either that edge is going to disappear because you bent metal back and forth, or that's not going to be strong enough to support itself. So that's why I don't use honing rods. Pull through sharpeners are even worse. They are given away by the knife companies for you to buy a new knife. Since they will destroy your knife, they will create a hole at your edge. Here you can see a knife that's been constantly sharpened with a pull through sharpener and it's completely destroyed. And so the pull through sharpener has to be destroyed as well. The honing rod did not want to go down without a fight. While I was admiring the toughness of the honing rod, I remember these rods were actually made from a tough tool steel known as D2 and I could use some of the alloying of the D2 in my crucible steel. Here I'm cutting down the honing rod using the angle grinder. I'm adding 90 grams of the honing rod to my failed ingot and some of the crucible steel offcuts. So will the knife steel make actually a good knife steel? I don't know, we'll find out. Here it's melting in my crucible steel ferns. We'll find out if it's gonna make a good knife or not in the next episodes. Stay tuned. See, the reason I don't recommend these honing rods is these will not sharpen your knife. If your knife edge is rolled, Cut! What are you doing? You're messing it up, bro.
I'm trying to record YouTube. Zero professionalism. You're fired.